Hey, hello everyone, Airmax here. Today I'm going to be presenting you a software you might already know called Ventoy. This piece of art is a game changer when it comes to install an operating system on a PC. Are you ready? Let's go. Like always, let's start with a little bit of context. We all know that for installing a new operating system on your PC, you need a USB key because we, we don't do uh, DVD or CD anymore. You have to burn this baby to install whatever like image you want to install on your computer. And one application I've been using for a long time is Rufus. This uh, Rufus utility is really, really good. It gives you the opportunity to create a USB installation media from a bootable ISO really, really fast. And I like it comes with a lot of options which are like really enjoyable. They have a system to download the ISO image. They also have like some certain tweaks, especially for Windows, you can enable when you go there. But it comes with a big, big drawback. Each time you want to install a new operating system or even like a, you just want to have like a live ISO, you need to totally format and reput all the data on this baby. So you're going to tell me like Air Max, it's not, it's not that much of a problem. Well, what if I tell you that you could have the same USB key and have all the ISO you want on it. And the only limitation is the size of this stick. This is what Ventoy is. You install like their little software at the base of your um, USB stick. So obviously like the bigger the USB stick, the better. And then you copy and paste your different ISO on it. Simple as that. I've been testing it. It has been like a little like game changer for me. Because when I want to try, let's say, like 10 different versions of a Linux ISO, I don't have to burn this one 10 times. I just plug it there, copy and paste the ISO, boot, choose the one I want, go there, and I'm good to go. This is awesome. This is really, really awesome. So you're going to tell me like, yeah, but there is not a lot of image files which are available. No, 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 no. You have more than 1,100 image files tested. 90 plus percent of the distro from distrowatch.com are compatible and supported with Ventoy. If you look at the list, it's pretty amazing. Windows, no problem. Linux, no problem. Unix, Chrome OS, over. VMware, ESXe, Citrix, Zen Server. Guys, that's a lot. That's a lot of potential here. Maybe some of you might find the limitations there, but on my hand, it's just perfect. That's this type of software which makes me like super, super excited when I use them, but also like when I discover it. So if you didn't know it, I really encourage you to go grab one of these baby. I would say 16 gigabytes if you don't have that many ISO or go crazy with a 256 gigabyte out of your mind if you want to go like insane but i'm pretty sure you could have maybe like 60 percent of distro watch and some of the biggest like windows iso ready on one of those ready to deploy and to test now if you want to go even more crazy you could buy one of those cable which is a direct sata to usb free to plug whatever you want there so let's say you have a two terabyte ssd you plug it there you install Vantoy on it and you could put two terabytes of ISO there. But there is more. There is more. You're going to tell me, Max, like, why would you install two terabytes of ISO on this SSD? Well, maybe you want to have multiple ISO, but you also want to have like specific environment ready to boot and persistent through the different reboot. They have this option here in what they called uh, the Ventoy Plugson. So I won't cover everything, but the idea is that you can customize a lot of things. Some of them are really technical. Some of them are pretty straight to the point, but let's say you want to do an ISO with some persistent data on it. It's possible. As is written here, like many distro provide feature for persistent. This allows saving any changes you make to the live system so that they are still present the next time you boot it. In normal case, we create a separate partition to do this, which is not so flexible. 
Now, Ventoy bring a new feature. You don't have no need to create any partition, no need to add persistent boot parameter. Just put a persistent data file in the first partition and tell Ventoy by the JSON configuration and that's all. You can put as many different data files for different ISO files at a time. I won't go too deep into it, but you have like this overall like Ventoy plugs on will give you the opportunity to do it without ever touching the terminal. I will un always encourage you guys to be familiar with the terminal, but let's say you don't want to go there or you're on Windows, you want to do the thing like easy, you have it here. Another point you might like is the fact that you can customize the theme of your bottable session on your USB stick. So I'm not really into that, but it's something you can do and it's super easy to set up. To give you an idea, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some of those themes. There is a lot of them. And when I say a lot, it's a lot, lot, lot. And here we are. Of course, it's Arch Linux. So instead of having like the Ventoy theme, you're going to have this one. Now, let's get into it. As I said, it's open source. So the best way to download it is to go to uh, GitHub, uh, go on the release pages here and download the one. Uh, you might be interested in. So you have the Linux version, this is the one you're going to be using. You have a Windows version. You have one executable in it, uh, which provides a guy that will let you customize your USB stick pretty straight to the point. You have the same in Linux. I'm going to show you to them. We're going to use this one because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm running Arch here, by the way. And uh, they have a third one, which is a live CD ISO. If you want to burn it like the old way, you can also do that. So you could use, for example, like Rufus to burn Ventoy. Why not? Personally, I really encourage you to use uh, Windows, the Windows zip here or the Linux one. So I did download it. I did extract the file. We are in the main folder here. Let me show you how it looks like. So just to be super clear, I put my USB stick in my PC. It's plugged. So now I'm going to show you the different application you can use to install Ventoy on this USB stick. You have a lot of choice. So the first application I want to mention in this video is the Ventoy guy. I think it's going to be the most popular one because it really resembles to the one which is already in Windows and it's it's kind of like a plug and play situation. Let me show you. So you need to be root. The one I'm going to be using here is a Ventoy guy dot x8664 because this is my CPU architecture. I'm going to start it. It's going to pop up here. It's pretty simple. You can see your, your device here. So this is my 32 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme USB. Uh, you can see uh, what is already um, installed on the device. So I'm up to date. And this is what you could reinstall on it. So long story short, when you put all your ISO on your USB drive, you don't need to reformat it each time you install Ventoy. What you need to do if you want to upgrade, you just download the latest version of Ventoy. You launch this little command and then you, you click on the update and it's going to update the partition on which uh, Ventoy is on. Because what this software really does, it cuts your hard drive in two partitions, one for Ventoy itself to, to boot and the second one to stock all your ISO and your persisting image disk you want to put there or your theme or whatever. So here I'm already up to date, as you can see. If you want to support secure boot, you want to make sure you, you click on that and you're going to see you. The, the little like lock disappeared. So here it means like we have it. And then you decide the type of partition you want. Me, I go GPT. That's, that's how I manage my ISO because that's how my BIOS is set up. Here you can choose whatever you want. Okay, like it's pretty straight to the point. And then it's, it's your language here. Then when it's done, you click on install. Boom, done. <laughs> and, and, and you're good to go. That's simple as that. The next step, as I said, is pretty straightforward. As you can see here, I have the VTOYEFI, which is the file system from my USB drive mounted here. And then I have my Ventoy, which is a second partition on the USB drive with all my data here. As you can see, I've put a lot of Linux ISO here, Arch, Garuda, uh, different type of Garuda, Linux Mint. The bigger your USB stick, the more ISO you're going to put there. Again, Windows, like I won't go through it again, but there is thousands of ISO you can put there. It's just amazing. You are tired of one of them, you, you remove it. The idea here is like you don't have to burn anything. You just add, copy and paste or delete. Awesome. Now let's talk about the other utility which are like provided within this, this zip package. So you have the Ventoy uh, 
to disk.sh, which is uh, also which is the equivalent of the guy, but it's a command line. So if I type it, you see, you can decide the destination of the install, uh, if you just want to update it. Like, you have obviously more little options. Do you need that? Yes or no? I personally we went through the guy because I, I believe it's easier. Now, another one I want to show you is uh, Vantoy Plugson. Well, this one, also pretty straightforward. Sudo bash Vantoy Plugson.sh. So it's this one. Start it. So you have to put the destination there. So mine is dev slash sdb2, I believe. Here we go. If you are not sure where is mounted your device, you can type lsblk in a terminal to make sure that you are uh, using the, the right partition. Obviously, I know mine, so I just put it there. And this is the funny part. If you open your browser, you're going to arrive on this uh, little like server, which is pretty fun. And there you are going to find exactly the file system you found before. Uh, a lot of information, but you're going to be able to install everything you want. So I was mentioning the theme before. You can do that here. You don't have to modify anything in the terminal. It tells you there like the theme.txt file path. You can add one or more files. You can switch between the theme by pressing F5 with the theme select. You can choose the resolution, for example, and everything is going to be saved on the uh, actual partition. So I did download a theme based on Arch. We're going to give it a try. Even if it's not my thing, boom, it's here. We have extracted the theme. I created a little folder there. Now I'm going to go back to the actual application and we're going to add a path theme.txt because it's here. Okay, now it's saved. So we did add it. I'm going to restart my PC. I'm going to switch to the dirty camera and we'll see how it goes. Oh boy. I'm going to go with uh, my Ventoy boot. Look at this baby. I found all my ISO. I didn't have to change anything. And let's see. I'm going to start with uh, yeah, Linux Mint with uh, Cinnamon. Yes, sir. I really hope you enjoy the really high quality of my recording. But again, it's just to give you an idea of what can be done with this Vantoy tool. And I do believe it's just, it's just amazing. And voila. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be returning on my uh, main desktop and we'll finish this video. As I told you, this tool is pretty awesome. So I'm going to put the link of the different hardware I use for this video. And uh, it's, if you want to buy any of those, like it will be a really great support for the channel. Another way to support the channel is to uh, like this video, uh, subscribe to it, or even like become a member of it, or even more, uh, help me financially via Patreon. This video is certainly going to be the first one toward the series I'm planning to do on this channel about uh, moving from Windows or Mac to Linux. And I thought it would be cool to present you this software. I think it's, it's just awesome. If you want to put a lot of ISO on your little USB stick or SSD drive and just like try them live with a click of a finger like that, tac, tac, tac. I believe this tool is perfect. Until then, I wish you to have a really good rest of your day. And as always, bisous bisous. See you in the next one. Take care, guys.